SABC2. Now we cross to our SABC reporter Mbali Sibanyoni. She is in Bloemfontein for the launch of the Bram Fisher's exhibition. Uh, she's standing by with uh, the Mangau Metro Municipal Mayor Tabo Manyode. Mbali, a very good morning to you. Good morning to you. We are just about to unveil uh, the Bram Fisher uh, uh, exhibition here in Bloemfontein. Um, the mayor is on standby. There you have it. That's the Mangau Metro Municipality Mayor Tabo Manyoni cutting off the ribbon for the Bramfisha uh, exhibition. She is currently joined by Umbali Banyoni, a reporter there in Bloemfontein, to conversate further on the issue. It's over to you, Umbali. We are currently here in Bloemfontein. Uh, we are witnessing the unveiling of the um, Bram Fisher exhibition. Now, the name Bram Fisher is very synonymous with Bloemfontein, and that's because he uh, grew up in the Free State and went on to attend Gray College, and he also completed his studies at the University of the Free State. Another thing is that he's written in the history books of South Africa, and that's because he played a major role in bringing about uh, race equality. Now, sir, can you just let us know why are we here today? We are here today to celebrate, obviously, the Freedom Month and also to acknowledge this giant called uh, Bram Fisher. He is the son of this city and therefore we have to acknowledge him. Last year we depicted his life through drama and architecture. We decided this year that we will have a pictorial uh, description of uh, his life. We really must celebrate this African giant because Although the Free State was known to be racially divided and it was also obviously known to be the most, uh, the heartland of, of, of apartheid. But you had people like Bram Fisher who were white and his wife and others who decided to take the struggle for the emancipation of uh, black people in this country. We are celebrating this democracy today because of the lives of Bram Fishers. All right, sir. I've noticed there's a number of pictures here with us today. Where are they all coming from? Who took these pictures and when were they taken? We have here our communication officer who arranged uh, with the museum and he also arranged with some of the family members to give us a, a collection of the pictures that they have been having. He will later indicate and acknowledge the people who made these contributions. Ours is to make sure that we bring awareness to South Africans about this giant and say he is the person who saved the lives of the Mandelas. And why is it so important for South Africans to remember such a struggle hero and lawyer? Now that we have this icon called Mandela, the one that we loved so much, but we forget that people like Bram Fisher, they played a very important role to save him from the gallows, or else we would not really be knowing much about Mandela. So therefore, we really need to celebrate Bram Fisher and his contributions to our freedom and to our uh, life. And so, um, in your opinion, how should South Africans remember the struggle hero? By getting rid of racism first, by bringing social cohesion, and also by making sure that we all hold hands to build a better South Africa, a prosperous South Africa, a South Africa that we all can be proud of, both black and white, as depicted in the Freedom Charter. And that is uh, Tabo Manyoni. He is the Mangahung Metro Mayor, and he's just about to unveil the mural behind him. Thanks. Thank you. And that's it from us here in Bloemfontein. Celebrations are, con are expected to continue throughout the morning and there will be more celebrations throughout the weekend, Bloom. It's back to you in studio. Well, thank you very much, Mbali. That's our report in Bloemfontein. Mbali Sibanyoni will most definitely be crossing over to her again in the next hour.